Hey there, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. The next function you will use on the multimeter is the amperage function. You want to turn the dial to here. Depending on your meter, you may see a 600, 400, 200, or 40. You want to pick the one that is closest to your measuring current. If you are testing individual circuits, you want to choose 40 because it's the closest number to your breaker amperage numbers. This will give you a more accurate number than if you choose 600. If you're measuring the amp draw from your whole house, you want to choose the higher setting of 600. All you do to use this tool is clamp the meter around the wire. It won't work if you clamp it around two wires in the same sheathing. So it's best to use this at the panel box since wires are separated and just clamp it on one. Putting the wire in the center gives you the best reading. So to measure the amp draw of your whole house, turn everything on and test both incoming wires, phase A and phase B. Then you can add them up. If you have any questions, visit thevirtualelectrician.com and schedule a virtual electrician to answer any questions.